Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrapcraftastic. I know it's dark, you probably can barely see what's going on, but we're gonna test some theories that you all left in the comments of the Five Below What's New Wednesday where I tested the glow paints. There were a few suggestions on how to use the glow paints or what they were meant to be, so we're gonna test those out today. One of the suggestions was that maybe it was glow in the dark paint. So hence the dark setting we have here and I'm going to make it even darker in just a moment so that we can test it out. So this is the sheet that I painted initially. And as you can see, there is no glowing. And now I have it completely dark. There is no glow. So that is a no, it is not glow in the dark paint. So the next idea was that it was, um, I don't know what you would call it, maybe like a fluorescent paint that works with a black light. So I ordered a black light on Amazon just to test it out because I didn't have time to go actually into a store to see. And so I have the black light installed in a lamp and let's try that out. So this is what it looks like under the black lamp or the black light. It is kind of glowy. So I'm thinking, yeah, I don't know if that's coming through on camera. Let me hold the lamp over some more. So I'm kind of holding the lamp over it. I can actually see that it glows with the black light on it, but I'm not sure that it shows through the camera with the black light. So that is what it is. You use the black light with it and it shows up great. That's really cool. The other theory was that, and this was in regard to the glow paint and the glitter paint that maybe the paints had separated and that I should squeeze the tubes and, and try and mix the paint a little better. I'm not sure that that's the case, but I am going to try it again and see what happens. Okay, so here are the paints again. I think I'm gonna try it with the glitter paint because this again, is, shows up under the black light really well but it doesn't show that great um, under regular lighting conditions. So let's try something that we didn't try before. This is the purple violet. And they do, I didn't mention this before, but they do have the names on the tubes. So I don't really wanna squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the tubes. I don't think that's gonna help mix it at all. I think just actually using a good amount of the paint. Yeah, it doesn't seem separated at all. And I'm squeezing a good deal of paint out. So I think it's just the nature of the paint. And I think the issue is that Fire Below does not put or whoever manufactures it does not put any information about the paint on here so you don't know what to expect it's probably intended to work exactly the way that it works nowhere does it say that it's acrylic paint it doesn't say that now the other paint that I got from five below actually said that it was acrylic paint and it performed like acrylic paint this does not say that Nowhere on the tubes, nowhere on the packaging, it does not say. All it says is glitter paint. So, I mean, again, it could be like a gouache paint, which is kind of like a combination of acrylic and watercolor. That's what I think, but I could be wrong but it does remind me of some gouache paints that I have. And I think it is buildable. 
and it does have the glitter it's just not like glitter glue and i guess that's what i was expecting and again the darker colors the glitter seems to pop and stand out a whole lot more than it does with the other colors now what i will tell you is that i think the glitter comes off <laughs> and i guess i'm not pleading their case very well but after this one dried that we did in the other video well no it's, it's not coming off there is some fallout if you rub 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 like i'm doing here there is fallout so that glitter is not completely stuck in the paint you could probably just spray it with some type of sealant to keep any fallout from happening um but i think that's also always an issue when you're using glitter you kind of will probably have some fallout see i have glitter on my hands now just from handling that paper okay so again i'm squirting out a good amount of paint there's no way to like shake it or anything like that and if i squeeze the tube too much it's just gonna push all the paint out so And I'm just using these as backgrounds, actually. Um, so this kind of works perfect for what I'll use it for. I think I'll just put the green over here. Ooh, I love that color. So yeah, I don't think it's a, a matter of the paint separating. It's just the nature of the paint. So I like that background. And I will be showing how I use these backgrounds on my Journal Life Journey channel. So make sure you're subscribed and I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. So that's it for responding to the comments on the Five Below paint, the glitter paint and the glow paint. So I'm gonna tear this out and because i'll be using this i might even scan it because i really like the color to use as a background in a digital let's play with these as we head out and see what we can come up with as far as the black light in the meantime i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that little gray bell so that you'll receive notification each time I upload a new video. Be sure to check the community tab in my stories for updates throughout the week. Also, check us out over at patreon.com slash scrapcraftastic for exclusive content and digital downloads. Visit my other channel, Journal Life's Journey, for craft videos and junk journals. You can find me across social media at scrapcraftastic. Visit my website and shop at scrapcraftastic.com. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Because I think that my camera is trying to adjust for the darkness, I'm gonna turn off the camera and try and use my phone 
uh, camera to see if it shows any better. So this is what it looks like through my phone. And this is just a quick laying down of paint, but hopefully you can see the glow from the black light. Okay, so I hope that gave a little more information about the paint, and that's it. Bye.